Action. Jonathan, welcome back. Hello. I like your shirt. Thank you, I like your shirt. Thank you. It's beautiful. Um, click subscribe if you like these videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. And that bell is very bell. useful to make sure you know when your food is finished in the microwave. It's true. It, it stinks. It maybe it's like my um, my dishwasher sings this little song when it's done. Yeah, mine, mine does something too, because then she's like, I'm done, honey. I'm like, cool. <laughs> There you go. That's my wife. <laughs> In case you didn't get it. I want to go back to the 50s there for a minute. It's not yeah. true. I have children to Tobias do Tobias Strats and Tellys, right? 50s. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. So anyway, we're talking about the weight of guitars. And we're, we saw this great phrase earlier, something called weight woke. And I was like, I was like, I'm Derek, I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, weight woke. Like, wait, you're woke about being the weight. I'm like, what do you mean? We're talking about the guitar weights. And... <laughs> Not how like not the guitar weights that they make the guitar stronger, but how yeah, heavy. Awesome. Are, <laughs> my tone's a little thin. I'm like my, I'm gonna put in all this workout regimen. It's getting bigger. Yeah. No, it's like so everyone like right now one of the most important things it seems that people ask about is how heavy is the guitar. And don't get me wrong, I've asked it before too, and like I like a lighter guitar sometimes. You don't like a ten pound guitar. I don't like a ten pound guitar. Some people are like, well, oh, if it's seven point six pounds, that's a, that's a. I need it to be below 7.5. See, I've never had a cutoff like that. It's just like you pick up the guitar and you're like, oh, this is nice. Or, oh, no, this is really What is It's heavy. tricky because we are in the age you of know. digital buying and selling. So it's people true. can't hold that anymore. I, no, I get that. So most people got to so, order online. So I guess you do have a, a thing in your brain um, as far as like, oh, here's my cutoff. But in the history, like it's, it's a new thing. Yeah. It's really a new thing that's become like I have to have X amount of weight for my guitar or it's not going to work for me. And I understand with back aches and everything, it's just, it's funny though that it's become such a primary thing, almost more so than, does this guitar sound good? How's this guitar play? Oh, it's too heavy. I'm not going to like it. But do you think that people correlate the weight and the tone? Because it's no, funny to me. I don't think when people are asking, they do. I think some people do. I think, no, don't get me wrong. I think there's a correlation sometimes between weight and tone, but I don't think people are asking about it. When you just think they're like, they just don't want to have a guitar. Like, it's fair. Do you, what are your thoughts? You think it's maybe? I don't particularly like I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I, I've always heard people say that. It's just like, don't have a heavy amp, you know, have a modeler because you don't want to carry your amp around. But it seems like a cop out to me. <laughs> I just think, <laughs> you know? whereas like, I don't want to play tennis, just play ping pong then. Yeah. It's the same thing. Like, so you're modeler. saying get, it, get a uke. You guys say, yeah, why play guitar? Get a ukulele. It's, <laughs> you know, no, I'm not saying get a heavy guitar, but it's just funny how it's become such a thing. Cause such, like, right. I remember from talking to Mike, the custom shop head from, from Fender years ago. This is the um, first incarnation of Mike's. There's been multiple Mike's that have been there and, and worn that hat. But I was asking him about, this was at a road show at Will Cut Guitars in Kentucky, um, Lexington, Kentucky. on Rosemont, a little grocery store. I believe the the road show was next door though at their ancillary building behind the gas station i think if i remember, I remember i'm old and this was a long time ago but he was he, i was talking he was talking about eric clapton and like when they bring the guitars to eric clapton and because somebody asked about the weights and he's like eric clapton would never ask about weight he asked he wouldn't ask anything he's like does it he play it and see if it sounds good and does it play good he's like and, and eric clapton tends to stand up and play shows Yes. Always. I mean, I've seen him sit down a few times, maybe. Just but. for, like, doing, like, the little unplugged thing, you know. But not, but, uh, not No, like, then I said, then, yeah. uh, then I think I had China. I was like, do, do any of these rock stars ask about weight? He's like, in the history of my time here at the custom shop, not one rock star has asked me about the weight of the guitar. And that's one of the things on the Fender custom shop, like, spec out things. The sort for lightweight's the one thing. That's I do that on almost every guitar, because I do want to get a little bit of a lighter. I don't sure. want to get a 10-pounder. But there's one where you can request a specific weight. God, yeah. And that is an expensive upcharge. It's very expensive. It's like over $1,000, I think. Yeah, only and, master build, obviously. And it seems like an odd, like, oh my God, it's so expensive for that thing. Like, And that's what I always thought. And I was like, whoa, to actually get the guitar to weigh that. I mean, that's a lot of figuring, a lot of thinking, you know? And you got, well, you got to get the body in first and the neck, and then you start putting little things. Hardware's in there. You know, I guess you know without it's not always. It's a ton, but like. But, well, but to get it like point, you know, to. to the certain. I forgot. I was talking specific. to one of these master builders the other day. It was either John or Carlos or Gabriel or somebody. I can't remember. Um, he was talking about like, you know, if you get the body at like three and a half pounds, like your guitar is going to be like a seven and a half pound guitar maybe, or like if it's four. You, uh, no, if it's four, it's close to that. It just, uh, and then if you roast it, it's different. I got that, but 
the, <laughs> it's a lot to think there's too. a lot of things to juggle yeah. this that's a nightmare but it's not really been a thing until like i mean think about kiss i mean they're probably the least thing they're concerned about is the way of their guitars aren't they wearing like 50 pounds of like wardrobe junk stuff just I their shoes look so heavy God, they look so their cool, shoes though. look so heavy i mean paul stanley I mean, that's a sexy beast when he walks out with his like high boots and chest hair everywhere. Gene Simmons is more like the Viking warrior, yeah. but Paul Stanley is just like just like a Viking vampire. <laughs> Hide your daughters, gentlemen. Paul Stanley's here. Tongues everywhere, tongues and chest hair. Gene Simmons walks in. Hide your chihuahuas. You don't know what's gonna happen here. <laughs> I feel like Kiss needs to make a guest appearance on season two of Peacemaker. That would be amazing. Cause like you've seen the whole series the first season one? no i have i, I is on my list to watch oh, okay. you, oh you haven't watched it okay i've only watched the intro with you now like a couple times yeah because the intro is so good the dance, I, I, the dance I, number. I, I, I mentioned to derek i would kind of like to learn that dance number <laughs> i feel like we could learn this only the shop. we had an eagle we we, we had we could just find C- something we else could dumb. cgi well the, and the eagle's name is eagly eagly but, um, eagly anyway if you haven't watched peacemaker it's just a thoroughly fun enjoyable romp through cinematic make funnery of the comic book universe i enjoy that and, um, I like that. and making fun of the whole, whole idea of like heroes and whatnot a little bit too yeah and the fact that you got the guy from terminator 2 in there that was i did it's, yeah. it's his father yeah which is and i won't get any more but his character is hilarious as well absurd but um no it's it's a, it's one of the biggest things in guitar questions now is how, how much does it weigh which we, we people we appreciate that ask that a lot for the guitars we have you know i mean that's been going on for a long time where we you know we'd weigh it in the little thing and oh it's 7.2 pounds well, it is just funny because i bet jimmy hendrix's guitars but, um, were heavy i'm sure they were because all those guitars from that period are and <laughs> yeah um but i feel like it is creeping into like the custom shop process when we go through specs with people i see it more and more and more yeah and it is it's almost like and like that's a major concern you know and like we'll often like it depends on what we're doing with the guitar like we can take that out and sort of save that little it's a smaller upcharge but i've rolled the dice with it a lot and sometimes like a sort for lightweight versus non-sort they've been exactly the same sometimes because it's still just essentially the lightest piece that's that's there right there's nothing saying you're not going to get i mean they're, they're going to say like they're going to they're going to weigh the body pretty much and, and like sort of get you an idea of what the body is going to be and hopefully get you a lighter piece there's right but sometimes you just might get lucky with a lighter neck that's what i'm saying yeah you sense. don't you don't know right and like they might weigh it at the end again but I, I don't know the exact process there toward the end of that but i don't know but i've had some sort for lightweights that are not light Right. Yeah. You know, so if I'm doing a Bigsby on there, I'm going to sort it for lightweight for sure. Of just course. Just to try to offset some of the weight of that Bigsby. Because that's going to add at least 12 pounds. It, but it's worth it. <laughs> makes it awesomer. Tone. It's pure tone on the Bigsby. Bigsby tone. Sh- intonation, shenanigans, I say. That's ridiculous. You don't need that stuff. I like, I mean, I think a Bigsby on a guitar is awesome. Bigsby's always. awesome. You can use it whatever kind of bridge you want with a Bigsby. You can intonate to your little heart's content. I know. This, the tunage is in. The tunaging is a little bit tricky sometimes. I, I, I'm always, I've been a big band. I took a Bixby apart once though as a, as a thought experiment while the strings were still on there and tried to put it back together. That was a mistake. Yeah, you can't do that. It was, I had the spring mechanism was out and everything. I was yeah. just seeing if I could do it. I was like, I just don't want to restring the guitar though. And like, it took me like five times longer than if I just would have taken the strings off. <laughs> you ever been playing with a Bixby and got a little too excited and you pulled back and the spring goes shooting across the ring? I've never had that happen. I have. Doesn't it? Yes. It seems like you had a premature spring moment got a little too excited the spring was sprung it was gone <laughs> fortunately you can get new springs i mean now i'm just thinking about the plot reveals later in the peacemaker that's i just dang it smile it's just like it's so good you gotta watch it, you gotta watch right, it. I'm, I'm, watch I'm trying it. to get into yellowstone I'm right now it. i got a lot of yellowstone to catch up with but i heard that you were it made you you I'm, had your eyes on the stetson now well like, i don't know if i really I, I would i like i would like a black one too for like you know formal events and they're, they're expensive though, right? I mean, you know, there's a range. I have a straw, like, you know, the lacquered open road. Stetson? Yeah. Um, How much was that? Like 120 bucks. Oh, that's that's cheap. I was thinking that, like, I, mean, you I know, want the felt one, like the real cowboy hat. Derek, Derek wants like the $5,000 ones. I mean, because you can Let, let me pause a minute. You just said $5,000 for a hat? Yeah. I mean, there's a ton in that like five, six, seven $700 range. I mean, I need to call John Cruz up the other day because I was sitting there 
with um I was at, it was at Lowe's the other day and I saw one like the ATVs they had like with the cover and everything. Yeah. And I was, I was looking at it and I was thinking about John Cruz guitars like that has like it's the same price. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I told John I had a serious like had a serious like, moral quandary. Oh I was like I don't know man the guitar is amazing but dude I could like get really dirty in this thing. It's a tricky moment. And I, I didn't ask how much the ATV weighed. This stuff. <laughs> either but no let us know your thoughts on weight because like it is something i do like a lighter guitar I, I like a i like a lighter les paul too sometimes there's something i feel like it's i don't like a chambered well, les paul though because i mean sounds no, i different. don't want chambered but lighter in theory means more resonant it's it's just funny because like if you're going to play a four-hour gig think about how light the guitar is if you're not you just want it to be in the reasonable ballpark of well it's just, it was just not i'm not saying it's like absurd that we talk about it necessarily it's just it's just it's it's a funny thing that it's a thing now where it didn't used to be a thing and we developed in that and maybe that's right. just maybe it's a good thing could be a good thing um but you know as wood becomes more finite and rarer too it's it's trickier so it's and, and wood selection is a huge deal with these custom shops all of them from independent boutique to the monsters of fender and gibson yep, it's, true. it's a big deal with that piece of wood um that goes in that guitar for multiple let us know your thoughts. I would like to know. Um, it's got to be tuned to A flat when you knock on it. You're not right. <laughs> that knock was an A flat. Um, yeah. I watched go. some guy on the internet with perfect pitch doing stuff like that the other day. Like they were playing like he was hitting like a glass, and like there was like a talk show. That he did the glass, and like he could tell the two pitches. Like that's a minor second. Lies. Like, no, you could. Like, Everyone hey, knows that's a conspiracy theory. <laughs> no such thing. I hate you. Just like space. Can, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. So sorry that if John we're offended it. you, the anti-space believers. <laughs> we're sorry that that offended you because you're not smart. Continue. All right. I like, did so we I'm, say the thing? I'm a space capitalist. You do. No, that's what, <laughs> somebody like because like, we were talking about like economics and like political beliefs. I was with this the other people the other day. And they're like, I think you're a space capitalist because I, I do. I believe in the tenets of Star Trek. You know the original series. <laughs> I love that idea. Like you know, and, and they you no know, everyone's out there just doing the best for mankind. But then I also believe in the reality and pragmatisms of the world we live in today. And, um, and I love capitalism. How I think capitalism can raise you up from situations of dire economic things in other, a way other societies can't. And unfortunately, the evils of man interferes with the perfect utopia that Star Trek, this fantasy sci-fi show from the late 60s, that I like to believe in is the future. And all the other incarnations that have followed from there to Picard that's happening now, that utopian world, they're still... Evil of man. Once we can Dang move, it. once we can move that. So that's I'm a space capitalist. I believe in like the those tenets, but also believe in some of the tenets here. There that's, you go. It's my new political party. I'm starting. So you're saying that we have to go extinct <laughs> to, to remove the evil of man? No, no, we'll get there eventually. I feel like I feel like we're, I, I, know, I feel, well. If you watch the news today, yeah. it seems pretty horrible. But I still believe in the goodness of man over. There's lots of goodness. We're stamping out that evil. It's, it's, that. it's much more that's rare. There is true. That's true. The, Maybe. Um, these these weird moments of history when 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 these, uh, that's happening right now, like they, it's not as often as it was happening. I, I don't know. Hope we get rid of it. We will. Space <laughs> capitalism, all the On way. On that note, unite. <laughs> we will see you next time. Come Thanks on. for hanging Help out. Us.